technically you are considered a man when you reach a certain age, when your body begins to show certain characteristics of uh, elevated testosterone. That includes increased facial hair, deepening of the voice, and increased muscle mass. However, these are all the surface level cues. What does it truly mean to be a man beyond outside form? It's a question that has intrigued me as a young man trying to find his way in this world. When I look at modern society, I am horrified to find that many so-called men are simply boys playing at being men. The way they carry themselves betrays them. The way they treat others betrays them. And most detrimentally, their lack of responsibility exposes them. So why do we have a society in which a large deal of men resemble many of my childhood chums? It could be due to a lack of fathers or father figures in many households. It could be due to fathers that have failed them by failing to teach the main tenets of being a man. It also could be due to the changing world in which we're living in, where feminist ideals have left many men emasculated and afraid to express and carry themselves like men. It could be many things, but I do not have the answer for this. So how does an authentic man carry himself, you might be asking. It is in my opinion that there are three main tenets one would have to understand on his path from boyhood to manhood. The first being accepting responsibility for your actions and situation in life. You see, kids make excuses. They cry when things don't go their way. As a man, no one gives a fuck about if things go your way. It's up to you to change your situations. If you're not happy with them, no one is here to spoon feed you. No one is here to piggyback you through life. You must learn to be accountable for your actions and their consequences. Only then will you be able to shape your destiny. Being accountable means not blaming others for your failures. Being accountable means understanding that you are in your situation because of the choices you made and not because of anyone else simply the choices you made. Certain aspects of life you're not in control of, but you're always in control of your reactions to the stimulus of life. And your consequences are your choices. There have been people in similar situations such as you that have still managed to do well for themselves, that have still managed to go against adversity and get the upper hand. So who are you blaming? Take responsibility and do what you need to do to get where you need to go. One of the things that you will not accept is the people disrespecting you or dating girls purely because you find them visually pleasing. You need to have boundaries and things that you would stand for, things that you will value most in life. Malcolm X once said, I quote, a man who stands for nothing will fall for anything, end quote. Don't let other people walk all over you. Have set boundaries. One of the worst things that you can do is become a blank slate. That is someone who has no values of their own, no beliefs of their own, that just goes with the crowd. This is pathetic. As a man, you should stand for something. You should be the embodiment of your values. What is it that you value the most? What is it that you won't accept? These are questions you always ask yourself and things that you take very seriously. So ask yourself right now, what are your boundaries? What are your values? What makes you different from the next guy across the street? You should have something different because your path is different than his. Your path is different than everyone else's. You should have your own individual path because if you're someone who doesn't have values, who doesn't have boundaries, it's going to be awfully easy for you to be dragged around in society's machine, in society's rat race. You're going to live your life doing work for other men that have a mission for you. If you don't have a mission for yourself, you're going to die with regret having known that you didn't accomplish the things that you wanted to accomplish because you never took them too seriously. You are a blank slate and you paid the ultimate price for it, wasting your life. Okay, and the third thing is having a mission in life. The ultimate goal is to die having accomplished that which you wanted to accomplish. To die well is having improved humanity with your existence and not to have simply lived to eat, shit, piss, and sleep. Although it may be difficult to figure out what your mission is in life, it is the ultimate goal. Your mission is your final frontier. 
Now, I'm not here to tell you what your mission should be. That's up to you. It could simply be to work hard to ensure your family lives well. It could be to develop a cure for cancer, perhaps to become the best boxer in Switzerland. The point is you need to channel your masculine energy to a goal of your choosing. You need a mission. So those are my three pillars for manhood. Of course, I will elaborate on these in further videos, and I'm sure there are more, but for now, that's what I have. Please come in the comment section and tell me what you think. If you like the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace.